What's going on guys? It's your boy King Chase here from Raw's Last Gaming and uh, today we're doing another something different. Um, so recently, earlier today, actually, uh, I found out that there's going to be a new Mobile Suit Gundam Seed movie uh, coming out soon. It's called uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse. Now, I'm a Gundam fan. <laughs> like, crazy. I've done a bunch of these and so I'm excited. Uh, Seed is one of my favorite series through the through the years of mobile suit and it's gonna be cool seeing what they're gonna do the original writer and director for the original um seed and seed destiny series is coming back for this which is crazy um so we get to see them continue the story um so now this is getting placed in between seed and seed destiny it's in um ce 772 i believe which is a um oh lord my brain I just slipped on what it's called, but it's CE72. It's in between Seed and Seed Destiny, um, exactly. Um, so it's called the it's called the Blank Years, is what people are calling it. Um, the the time between two wars, basically. So it's the, basically um, in our world, it'd be the time between World War One and World War Two. You know, that space in between two big major wars and all the relief efforts. So we've got a little bit to go into. I just figured to make this video going into it. Um, Another one of the passions of mine is this, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, uh, see what all the information we got. So first off, we've got a new Gundam um, type. It's the um, MF, MVF X08 Eclipse Gundam. So it's, it's, it's a crazy different design than most Gundams. They don't really have as sharp, jagged edges as this one does, but it's interesting. It's got two different forms. It's got the actual mobile suit form like this, and it's also got a mobile armor form. Uh, mobile suit form and mobile armor form are like very iconic when it comes to Seed. There's a lot of different ones that change and Seed Destiny exactly. It's basically the same thing where um, it changes forms depending on its needs. And it's also got like a camouflage feature, like a mirage cloak. It's going to be used for um, the efforts of the ODR, which is what uh, the characters, uh, the three main characters are going to be a part of. And the, um, it's the organization created by Orb to um, be the relief effort between the two uh, time frames of when Seed ended and the big war happened and Earth almost got destroyed versus Seed Destiny when uh, radicals start to take over and try to uh, start another war. Uh, but we're talking about this one. So first up is our main character. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit for this. There we go. It's uh, Tatsumi Hiori. Uh, he's the ODMR O. RMS pilot. He's the one actually pilots the Eclipse Gundam, and uh, he's a natural, so that means he wasn't born um, genetically modified like coordinators are, which we'll get to though in a minute. So he's got an average strength, IQ, and basic skill levels being like a normal human being, unless he's in the Eclipse Gundam, which is Gundam logic because you know, if you've got a human versus genetically modified people, nine times out of ten, the, genet the genetically modified person is going to win. So Gonna more just like oh if he's in if he's in this he's basically unstoppable so it's it's pretty it's pretty usual for Gunna but he looks kind of cool I like the blue hair I like his um pilot uniform I like the orange and the gold it looks kind of cool here um, next is the commander of the ODR sorry if I do these pronunciations wrong sorry it's uh, Mayubi Otokuyo and uh, she's the she's a coordinator who's the commander sort of like so whatever pilot ship that they're gonna need for space travel, which I, I can't remember the name of the original from Seed, but I have a feeling it's gonna look exactly like that one or similar to that one. She's gonna be the commander of that. Um, and it says she's got a complicated upbringing here, so that may be difficult to like who she's, um, I wonder if it'll be somebody we know as her parents or somebody we don't know. It says she's in a, a, wef a wealthy family. So she's a coordinator. So that means she's probably either from Orb or from, um, the coordinator place i can't remember in the, like the space satellites is basically the other thing i was thinking of um and then the the third guy is uh ken sus a uh, ken nolan sus he's the uh he's the second pilot we don't know what his gundam looks like but he is a coordinator so he's basically like your kira from the uh, first show uh he's the coordinator who's like super good at piloting gundams and stuff like that he's got a higher iq higher physical ability 
But what's interesting is that he was a coordinator who withdrew himself between the, nat the the war, so the first war between the first two. So he is basically like here. I like his two. He's got a little more bluish gold, which is nice. But this this orange just stands out to me a lot too. So I have a few theories of like what's going to happen. I have a just by looking, it looks like he's going to be a bad guy versus him later on. But who knows? He he said he did withdraw himself, so he may just be like that's your best friend in this sort of thing. Uh, but now we're going to get to the ODR. The ODR stands for the Orb Disaster Relief Team. It's an organization made by Orb to, um, you know, help everybody through the disaster with like medical care, education, growing the cities that were destroyed, making them be able to sustain themselves. And uh, this is technically a time of peace after the first war, but you know, sort of like the Cold War, you never know what another war could spark in the midst of a war ending. So that's probably why they made the. Um, the Gundam here just in case if something does happen or some radicals happen they have this to stop them um but yeah so that's another crazy thing is the first kit of this show is coming out soon and uh I'm gonna build it <laughs> it's gonna it looks really cool so I open that tab just to see what he's gonna look like um so he's got his mobile armor form and his mobile suit form and uh, it looks kind of cool uh he's got different little um pieces that can come out he's got weapon mode he's got you know blast rifles energy savers he's also got this cool one that's new to him and it's it's a shield action so you see it's not only does his arm things become shields and like shield daggers sort of like captain america in infinity war his like gauntlet thing there but his feet also change sort of like a deoxys type looking thing here um it may just be because he closes off his feet to give it more shield but it looks kind of cool that he can transform into that. And it's also cool that he'll be able to like fully transform into a mobile armor. So I can't wait to build this and then transform it back and forth. It's going to be really cool looking. And he's going to have a bunch of optional parts too um, that you can equip to him. Sort of. I'm wondering if they can use the same ones that you can use on your seed builds. Because they're very similar to those. Um, but then there's this cool one that's getting uh, released with us. Like an extra boost pack sort of like that one is. But bigger and i'm guessing there's more more weapons and stuff that's pr probably part of the show um sort of near the ending he's probably gonna get this attached and be like crazy super fast um but yeah just wanted to bring this up to you guys uh i know we don't really talk about really any other things about pokemon when it comes to news but i thought this was really cool i thought this was a nice i've been waiting on the next like gundam thing to show up after um iron blood orphans i know it's not a full series but there is a manga coming out which i'm gonna read too but it's not a full series um it's just a movie um but it's a cool way to show what's going to happen next uh, so there's two movies that if you guys want we could talk about we could talk about this movie and the um mobsugunum uh hideaway movie um that's also releasing soon it's just the next stage of gundam and they look awesome so i'm just going to leave you guys with that if you guys want to talk more about this kind of stuff just let us know i'd love to and uh, we'll catch you guys next time bye guys <laughs>